Hi, if you're targeting a 90 percentile in the corn section, the cat. So this is a video that you can watch. Look at the strategy that are there in order to attain that target. Uh, we do have shortcut workshop and practice session which is conducted by me for the CAT 24. But coming to 90 percentile, what is required? I mean, if you look at CAT 23, you would require 13. CAT 23 was comparatively tougher in the CAT 22. In CAT 23, if you score 13 marks, you would be very close to 90 percentile. CAT 22 required 17 marks. CAT 21, 18. CAT 20, 22. So the paper has become tougher over the years. That doesn't mean the paper will be tougher this year. We don't know. We have to just keep. But yes, the CAT 23 was one of the tougher papers and therefore the scores required for 90 percentile was much lower. So technically, if you had solved five questions and got them correct, you would have been much above the you know, 90 percentile requirement as such. Uh, so what is required? Let's go with the baby steps. Say you're starting afresh, you just want to score. So you look at what stage you are in and accordingly you can decide. The first step is to get that five plus score. So even if you're weak in con, you can still reach the 90 percentile level. Now, how to get? I mean, a lot of students who score negative marks in con. Don't relax. You can just build step by step process to improve. The first step is to get five plus score. What is the strategy required? So basically, you need to attempt around three to four questions and get two to three correct. And that is the strategy that you need to look at. It. How? Focus on accuracy. A lot of people attempt too many questions, waste a lot of time. It's the wrong way of doing it. Try to focus on attempting a few questions and getting them correct. Trying to attempt too many questions will ensure negative marks and your mind or your focus is divided over a lot of questions. Avoid attempting too many questions. The way strategy would be to go to all the questions in first 6-7 minutes. So first take 6 minutes, around 15 seconds per question and go to all the questions. Once you go to all the questions, mark which are easy, medium, tough. I mean which questions are easy, which questions are medium, which questions are tough, mark. So maybe you can mark around 4-5 to five easy questions maybe 4 to 5 medium level questions and maybe rest stuff. Then solve the easy questions. So go through whatever the easy questions that you mark, mark side with all the easy questions. You may not get all the easy questions or some you might mark it wrong, but try to put them down first and then go to medium level questions if time permits. So this is your strategy. So 6-7 minutes, go to the whole paper, mark them as easy, medium, tough, ensure that you don't miss out on any easy questions without reading it. Then next is solve the easy ones that you mark easy and then the medium level ones. Here the focus is 5 plus score. See now I want to go to second step and score the double digit score 10 plus marks. Now this can be achieved by maybe if I attempt 5 questions and get 4 correct I will get a, my double digit marks which will be very close to 90 percent right. right? Um, so how do you go? Here again the focus has to be accuracy. Whatever you attempt try to ensure that that is correct. Again, first round, go through all questions, but now here, solve the easy ones in the first round itself. I mean, don't wait for the second round to solve the easy ones. In the first round, as in when you're going to question, if you find any questions which are very easy to solve, solve them. And mark the rest as medium or tough. Okay. So, around three to four questions in the first round. I mean, if focus is to get five attempts or six attempts. So, around three to four questions in the first round is sufficient, which you should be able to complete in 25 to 30 minutes. And in the last 10 to 15 minutes, go back to the medium level ones and solve a couple of more. So you will be able to reach your target. Ensure that you focus on accuracy. So this is the next step where you are looking at double digit scores. And you are going to attempt a few focus on accuracy and try to get them correct. Third step. Now we are looking at 15 plus marks. So where we are looking at 90 percent time. So this can be done by attempting around 7 to 9 questions and getting 6 to 7 correct. So I have to increase the number of attempts from 7 to 9. So first round, go to questions again. As in when you go into questions, solve the easy ones and mark the rest as medium and tough. Like the previous step, same way. Don't give the easy ones for second round. As in when you go into the first round, solve the easy ones but mark the rest as medium and tough. And uh, in the first round, try to solve five to seven questions. Now your number of questions that you solve in the first round should increase. The time should remain the same. But at 25 to 30 minutes, try to increase your number of attempts from five to five to seven questions. And then come back and solve the medium level ones in the second round. So I am assuming between second step and third step, you must have practiced some areas, try to improve and go about it. Now, key out here is if you are doing the first step or second step, focus your preparation on few topics and try to be good at it. If you are in the third step and beyond, then you should look at, try to look at almost all the topics and try to be good at most topics. Look, understand that uh, the cutoffs will vary based on the toughness of the paper. 
the paper is tough like last year you would require lesser marks if the paper is easy you may require more marks so modify your strategy accordingly if you don't modify you will get stressed and you will score lower marks keep experimenting with strategy i mean you have a strategy try to have a different strategy because that's one way of improving your marks one is to build concept but second is also to ensure your strategy is right having a good strategy also ensure that your stress levels in the exam is lesser and moment you have lesser stress levels you will be able to solve them better right but understand experimenting is important because different strategy works for different students now if you are at a step 1 avoid jumping right to step 3 or 4 whatever but focus on trying to go step by step process you need to increase your marks slowly don't try to jump by attempting too many questions it will lead to more negative marks and your scores will go down i hope this helps uh, we'll come up with more video that will help you with regards to preparation thank you